Good evening, friends. Zoom you in. Ow, bracelet. Let me show you. And one more. We are going to glam. Okay. So hop on, say hello. Let me move that. Okay, so we're gonna do an easy glam. I've already got most of my makeup done. It's just left over from this morning. So we're basically just gonna touch everything up. And then we're gonna do a cute eye. So we're gonna use palette three and a simple lip. So I'm just going to freshen this up. And the best way to freshen everything up is to highlight and contour. That's like a really good way. You can do that with like bronzer. You could do it with like a darker face powder. I want to throw on some cheek blush and bronzer. I don't know which one I want. Mm, that one might be too light. Okay. Let's use, we'll use Surreal. I want to use that one because that one looks pretty. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on. Now my foundation is what I've had on all day long since this morning, like at 530. And it's just BB cream and setting powder. And then I use some like cheap blush and bronzer and that was basically it. I like that color. So that is surreal. I think that goes with anything. It doesn't matter like what colors you're wearing. And then let's just bronze up just a little bit. That's the wrong brush. We'll use this one. And we'll use a little bit of Hermosa bronzer, which is like, it's not that dark, but it's the middle bronzer. So it's not the, it's not the darkest, but it's not the lightest one either. And just do a little, this is a good way to kind of get like a good color on your face too without having a tan because hello, it's the beginning of summer and we're all pale. Take a little bit of setting powder and just get the harsh lines out. And then let's play with palette three, which in the very beginning when I first think I'm shutting, when I first started wearing Unique, this was like, y'all feel it. Don't you hate when you like feel a hair and you have no idea where it's at? there um palette three was my favorite palette when it first came out i mean it's been a it's been a while it's been around for a while so that's palette three that has like all kinds of great colors in it so let's use a little bit of that i want to start off with though by putting a little bit of Let's do a light color. So I'm going to put gentle. So it's this color right here. I'm just going to put it on the inner corner so I can blend everything else into it. This is a good color to wear over like lipstick. It's a good color to wear um, as luminizer. And I'm just going to dab it like just halfway. Like I don't want a lot of it. I just want it kind of like in the... To the end all the way to the middle and that's about it now if you really wanted to pop you know the trick is just to add a little bit of rose water to it and that makes like any color like pop in color hey Bobby to erase to full face oh we'll have to do that that sounds interesting I'll have to get with Marty next time we're together which is probably not this coming up weekend but the next and see if she wants to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's almost like the blind child, black ball child, except we're doing it at the same time and we're racing. Which I'm going to tell you, she's usually faster at makeup than me because I don't know if it's because I'm so anal about getting it right or I take way more time on my eyebrows than she does. So she might actually beat me at that one. But you never know. You never know. 
Let's do some palette three. I think it would be uh, worth watching. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. Okay, palette three, bam, one of the best palettes they've made. And I'm gonna start out with this color here called Tickle Pink. I'm gonna, it's not called Tickle Pink, it's just called Tickle, but I think it's a suit, it's like a, um, a mauve pink. But it's a super pretty color. And just kind of blend it out. Look how pretty that is. Of course, y'all know me and my pinks. Like, I am an all time fan of pink color. That would be cool. I'll have to tell her about that. Even though, like I said, I think she would probably have me on that one. She is a little bit faster. Like I said, it's like it's because I do my eyebrows a little bit slower than her. Like I take more time with my eyebrows. She wings right through it. But I could always practice. And then see who wins. We need to touch up that brow. See what I'm saying? I'm always way picky with my brows. Cause they have to be like just right. I'm like infatuated with doing my brows. I remember a long time ago when all I used to use was like, I started out with like a brown eyeliner on my brows and then I went to, I like something was on my leg. Um, then I went to, brown eyeshadow and when they finally came out with the brow palettes when I was at convention in New Orleans I believe they came out with this y'all I screamed my head off because I love a brow palette okay now we can get back to our I'm going to take that same pink and just put a little bit underneath back itches y'all oh Okay, I'm going to do that same pink underneath just a little bit. And I'm going to take it all the way over because when I do my dark color, I won't take it all the way over. There you go. Then, we're going to smoke it out with a little bit of purple. Love you too, girl. I love you too. So now we're gonna take our blending brush and we'll go with a little bit of a purple. So I'm gonna take flip, flip it and cheeky together. These two purples, I'm gonna blend them together. Let's see what we can, what we can get with that. And I love the blending brush for this because it's like perfectly round for the coverage that you want. It goes right in place. Just make sure you blender. If you like pinks and you like purples and you love a smoky eye, this is like the perfect combo for you. Because it is so stinking pretty. Look at that. Whoop. And we'll blend it out some more in a minute, but. There we go. Love it. This is a good way to get a smoky eye if you really don't like blacks or dark browns or something like that. This is a really good way to get that smoky eye without using those colors. You can also use a blue if you want to use blue. See, and that just kind of smokes it out for you. And we're going to clean it up. We're not going to leave it all messy. I don't want anybody to have a heart attack on me. And then we're going to take that same crease brush, and now we're going to put the dark underneath. And this dark will take all the way over. 
I love doing this as a smoked outliner instead of using always using like a pencil liner or a liquid liner. Now anytime you use a shimmer, it's the same rule of pie. You probably want to dab more than you rub so it doesn't have a lot of fallout. And then we'll just clean up the edges. I think I might take Hmm, I think I might take that over just a little bit. There we go. There, covered up a little bit of that. And then just clean up your edges. You can use concealer, you can use your foundation. I'm gonna use a sculpting stick just cause it's right here and it's super easy. And then we'll just blend it out. That. And I'll just use the Splurge Cream Shadow Brush and I'll blend it. Now this is where I'll always tell you guys if you like doing a winged liner, this is how you can get the perfect line and not mess it up. Because when you're done cleaning your edges, that makes like the perfect line for a winged look using liquid liner. Just make sure you blender. Boom. Take your powder, cover it up. And this makes it look all neat. Now, if you do your foundation after your eyeshadow, then obviously you would skip that part. But if you're like me, and you do your eyeshadow after your foundation, that's when you could use that. I'm gonna take a little bit of, what was I fixing to do? I have no idea what I was fixing to do. Okay, let's put on a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line because mine is off. Now, like I said, if you really want to take this look over the edge, throw on some of the either 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, the 4D Mascara. You could do a little winged liner. Um... What else? You could add a black instead of a purple or a really dark brown. Like there's all kind of ways you could do this look up. Then we're gonna do a little bit of prim um, eyeliner as our lip liner. So put on a little bit of that. If you don't wear lip liner, you should probably wear lip liner. It can make such a difference to your lips. Okay, so that is prim eyeliner. And then I'm gonna put on a little bit of the Raspberry Cheesecake Lip Balm Balm. Just to get a little bit of color. Probably my favorite lip balm. Kind of blend it out. And then I'm gonna go on with Lucid Lip Gloss. It's just kind of like a frosty pink. Like it doesn't really have a dark color to it at all. It just gives you that little bit. See how it's just a light shimmer? Let's blot it. Oh, I better not use that. We've done that before and I stuck to it. Do a little blot so you don't get it on your teeth. And then that. And 
that is a fast, simple, smoky eye ladybugs. Very easy. Set setting spray so it lasts. Um, dang, I keep forgetting what I was going to say. Can't remember. There you have it, ladybugs. Palette three for the win tonight. Give you a little smoky eye just by using pinks and purple. Use a little bit of prim eyeliner with a little bit of lucid lip gloss and raspberry cheesecake lip bonbon. And then we did, what color blush did we do? We did surreal, I think, yes. Surreal blush. A little bit of bronzer, your eyebrow palette, and your golden. Now, don't forget to get my VIP group so you don't miss out on all the games and raffles that go on every month. And reach out to me if you ever thought about joining my team or you have any questions about Unique. And if you're not sure if you're in my VIP club, you can always put hashtag VIP and I will check for you. So, I love you guys and I hope you like the tutorial and I will see you later. Bye.